Hey YouTube, how's it going? Air of Carthage here, of course. Um, coming to you from the abode of Carthage, and I'm gonna try and do something uh, here that it's gonna be a little tricky because I might need both hands, but I've got to hold the camera also. I don't have anybody to film for me, and I don't really have a tripod because I'm using my phone. I have an exciting, uh, exciting announcement for you here. I guess announcement, not really an announcement. It's more of an exciting event that I want you to take place in. So what is this event? Well, let me get the camera turned around. All right, I promise you the announcement is not my carpet or the tips of my shoes, which you can see I'm dressed for work. Um, the announcement is, dun da 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 all my new stuff is here for a gaming computer. And Air is excited. Well, I say all my new stuff. My operating system has yet to arrive, but I have all of the pieces that I need to build it. I have never built a computer before. This is a little bit intimidating. But from what I've seen, it's not super challenging. And um, obviously, I'll be looking for any tech feedback from people that are very tech savvy. But the parts are here. So it's not a matter of me changing parts at this point. It's just a matter of building it. So let me walk through what I have with you. Um, I'll walk through the parts and then show you the case last so I can move stuff out of the way. Uh, my motherboard is this uh, Gigabyte Z87X UD UD4H. Um, I'm not huge into motherboards, but this one was a little nicer than what I had originally considered. Um, I think I was originally looking at an ASUS Z87A or Plus, and I think that this one um, is supposedly a little bit higher, higher standard. I don't really know how it compares between Gigabyte and ASUS, and maybe part of it is just um, preference. I don't know. But anyway, it was a little bit nicer motherboard than I expected to end up with. I'm very thrilled about having it. I'll show you some of the features here in a minute. For those of you who care, and if you don't, then you can skip altogether. My processor, now this was the one that really surprised me that I wasn't really sure. I was looking at a Core i5-4670, uh, but I got lucky, and that motherboard came on sale with this processor here, which is the Intel Core i7-4770K. Very excited about this. It is an unlocked processor, which means that in the future, if Air feels like it, he can add some cooling to his computer and overclock this thing have some fun with it. And that nice motherboard obviously helps with that as well. Again, I'm not a tech guru. If you've come to this, and obviously I'm not a camera guru either. Um, <laughs> if you've come to this um, looking for someone who is really good with building computers and knows everything about it, that I am not. Um, so if you're one of those tech gurus that's come here to like criticize, look at this noob. Well, okay. Criticize if you want. I am just excited that I get to do this. I'm not claiming to know everything about computers. Here's my RAM. Uh, sorry for the shaking. I'm trying to hold the camera with both hands now to make it a little better. So I have a uh, Corsair XMS3, 8GB, 1600 megahertz RAM. Um, it's a lot of RAM. I've got two 8 gig sticks, obviously. So it's a lot of RAM. It's not the fastest RAM out there, but hey, it's good stuff. I was happy with it. And of course, RAM is easy to upgrade if you ever want to in the future. Behind that, again, sorry for the camera work. All I have is a phone. I've got a, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. Come on, focus. Maybe the RAM's drawing the focus. Let me scoot stuff around. Uh, still not the best focus. Maybe it's the lighting. This is a Gigabyte GTX 760. I'll get a little closer where you can see it. Uh, two gigabytes DDR5 memory. It is overclocked um, out of the factory. And it's got the Windforce cooling system, which is the triple fan layout here, which you can see on the back, hopefully all my shaking and everything. So that is the Windforce cooling system. It is quite a large graphics card, but I think my case should be able to handle its profile just fine. This is the, like I said, NVIDIA GTX 760. It is the Gigabyte Windforce Edition Revision 2. Uh, two gigabytes should be a huge step up over my Radeon 5770 that's running in my old machine. Very excited. So let me turn that around. And then here's my power supply. It is a Corsair CX750M. Um, I don't think that by way of power supplies that this thing is anything special, but I got this one because it's modular. It has lots of extra power in case I ever decide to put in a second hard drive or a second graphics card or extra cooling. So it is overkill considering the equipment that I have at the moment, but this thing's basically there so that if I want to upgrade in the future, I can easily do so. Um, again, not the fanciest model they make, but hopefully it will get the job done well. Up on top, nothing to be uh, blinking your eyes at. It's not that impressive. And of course, it's inside bubble wrap, but that's just a standard old Asus DVD burner. Um, and then over here is a two gigabyte Toshiba, or two terabyte Toshiba hard disk drive. 
think it's 64 meg cache, 7200 RPM. Um, I really did want a solid state drive and I may get one eventually, um, but didn't start off with one because it's not necessary. And of course, looking to do all this stuff for the lowest price possible. Um, so some of you might be asking Air, how much did this build cost? Um, after shipping and everything else, uh, which I didn't have to pay much shipping, and an operating system, so shipping, operating system, parts, everything all together, I got it for, I think, a little under $1,100. The same computer, if you go order it, is quite a bit more expensive than that, unless you all know where to order pre-built systems cheaper than I do. Did I get a great deal or not? To me, it was a good deal. I don't know. Maybe some of you have connections. But for me, it was the cheapest way I could get this computer. So my case, you can see here, is the um, Corsair uh, Carbide Series 500R. And um, it's a pretty slick case. I looked at the uh, 200R and the 300, even the 400, and I ended up getting the 500 because it went on sale. So I was pretty excited about this. It has, um, I think, up to 10 fan mounts. I don't remember. The one thing that I really liked about the Corsair cases, and maybe other people have it too, but as you can see, it's this um, wiring system here. So you can actually run wires behind the motherboard mount so that it keeps your system clean and the airflow smooth. There's a few other things that I liked about the Corsair case that of course, you know, other people may have had, I just decided to go with Corsair, is these uh, drive bays here. Really easy to pull that out, uh, drop you in a new uh, solid state drive or a second hard drive, very nice. Um, just like those features, also you've got up here tool-free optical drive bays. So you know you can remove optical drive just by pushing forward on that clip there and you can change your optical drives. Um, this case came with, um, and I'll see if I can turn it here with one hand. That's always the tricky part, so you're not going to get the best angles while I'm doing this, of course. This is the, uh, the front side of the case. You can see that it has two fans there and I, I always forget whether they're 120 or 140 millimeter. I think 120. Um, that came, these two came installed in the case and it has LED lights on it too, which of course is just a frivolity, not necessary. And then you can see in the back of the case that there's a, an exhaust fan already installed. And then down here in the bottom of the case, you actually have room for another fan plus the power supply sits in that corner. And then on the top of the case, it's got a little slot up here. Hopefully I can do it right. Um, come on. Don't want to break it before I use it. There we go. Um, you can see that you can take this dust guard off. And up here in the top of the case, there's more fan mounts. Plus, I think you can set a radiator in there for some more extra cooling. So the, the case comes with all kinds of options. On the front, it's got a couple of USB 3.0s, um, your standard you know, headphone mic, uh, some other stuff there, fan switches. Very neat setup. I'm very happy with it. It's not one of the fanciest looking cases out there, but functionality wise, I was very happy with the price on this case. And then here's the uh, side panel that I have pulled off. It's got a 200 millimeter fan that comes in it. And if you want, you can switch that, I think, to two um, 140 millimeter fans. Tech, tech questions may not be quite right here. I may try and put some links to all the parts on here if you're interested. Anyway, like I said, total cost was a little under $1,100 US. Um, and it was pretty slick. Very excited about it. The operating system is going to be Windows 8, 64-bit. I decided to go with Windows 8 um, just so that I'd have the newest operating system, not because I'm particularly excited about Windows 8. Anyway, that is my that build. YouTube. I am going to be building the computer. I don't think I'll be able to film myself building it. I kind of wanted to because, you know, it'd be like, hey, build a computer with an amateur kind of thing. There's a lot of videos on YouTube with people building computers, and they're very helpful. Um, I used a lot of the videos from Newegg, which is where I got my parts. Um, and they have a lot of good videos too and a lot of good tech advice. So if you want to check that out, check that out. Um, I'd like to show me building it. I'm just not sure if I'll be able to do that. I'm also about to have to move to a new house. So it's pretty hectic. And I'm doing my best to try and keep videos coming to you um, while all this is going on. If I can, I'll make a video of me building it. If not, I will make a video of the finished product with the side panel pulled off so you all can see all the parts installed and uh, see how it's running. Everybody cross your fingers. Hope that Air doesn't screw this up. Um, he's an engineer, but you know, uh, computers are not my first hobby. <laughs> I like games, but hardware is definitely um, not my area of expertise. So I'm pretty excited though to, to run through this and get it all working. And then who knows, maybe a year from now, maybe we'll do a little video of me uh, tricking it out a little bit, um, putting a water cooling system and overclock and stuff. I don't know, we'll see. It'll be fun. 
Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. That's my new rig. Um, now we just need Rome 2 to release. I'm going crazy, especially because all the videos that are coming out showing us that. There's a new video up, I think, yesterday or this morning um, with CA doing a walkthrough, and they showed some Carthage campaign footage. Freaking excited. It's going to be awesome. Um, we're going to bring some uh, Barca domination to the Mediterranean as soon as that game comes out. Anyway, Eric Carthage signing off for now. Hope you all have a nice day, and uh, I will see you soon.